People here feel Mali's conflict has been brought to their doorstep. They're angry. The headquarters of a regional military cooperation known as G5 Sahel is being moved to their neighborhood in Mali's capital Bamako. We want them to live here. We want them to get out. That's all. That is all. Its previous headquarters were bombed by insurgents last year. It was in central Mali, closer to the conflict that the G5 is meant to resolve. The decision to move it here, to the capital in the south, came after. The headquarters of the G5 Sahel, just down there, the police are protecting them. Police have been coming up to the protesters in the pickups, driving around the neighbourhood, firing tear gas. But each time they pull away, the protesters regather. Some have been throwing stones, setting fire to tyres and other debris in the road. People here aren't happy at all with what they see as a totally ineffectual regional cooperation. Many people in Mali feel the army, UN peacekeepers and foreign militaries have all failed to protect them. The various foreign forces here have failed to end insurgencies in the north by armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIL. The G5 Sahel force includes Burkina Faso, Chad, Mauritania, Niger, as well as Mali. And people here in Bamako don't want it here. They should fight the terrorists in the villages. Every day our brothers and sisters are being killed. Their place is over there. Even last week they killed people in Mopti and Tabuktu. We're asking the Malian authorities to do everything to get them out of here. Mali's problems are many and complex. Insurgencies in the north, intercommunal conflict in the centre, and now protests in the capital over a failed regional attempt to bring peace. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Bamako, Mali.